Hello. Hope Not Hate is running out of dirty tricks to play. The two-pronged attack by Hope Not Hate and the big boys in MI5 is ridicule and infiltration. Ridicule in the sense of Katie Hopkins, let's say, where she's the worst advertisement for anti-immigration, isn't she? She's just recently been stung, if that's the right word, conned, fooled, duped, duped probably, into accepting some award that makes her look even more stupid than what she normally looks. I'll leave the link below. You see, Casey Hopkins isn't what she uh, seems. She's um, She works for Hope Not Hate. All the big boys in MI5, I don't know, in demonising the anti-immigrant cause message, like Tommy Robinson, another one works for Hope Not Hate, the big boys in MI5, or whoever his aim again is to demonise the anti-Islamic uh, message, cause, opinion, uh, that others, legitimate good people may be pushing as well. He's there to demonise all that, like Casey Hopkins and many others. She's there to demonise the anti-immigration message cause from legitimate people who are trying to alert the people to the dangers of mass immigration. She's there to make those championing anti-immigration, like Tommy Robinson, anti-Islamic, uh, they're there to make those uh, causes, messages look stupid, right? But hope not hate. It's running out of dirty tricks, like I've said. It doesn't know what to do anymore. It's repeating itself. It's the same old nonsense. And then hope not hate as the other attack, which is infiltration. They'll send its agents into, say, the BMP in the form of Adam Walker, Clive Jefferson, to uh, criminalise the BMP, make it look stupid, comedy sketch, pantomime and circus, and also take it from Nick Griffin, which they did. They took it from Daft Nick, right? So the two-pronged attack is uh, ridicule and infiltration. They can't argue with us regarding our message and what we... Uh, believe in what we say. They can't argue against that because you can't. We are right, 100% right. They are the ones that are wrong. And the only way they can stop our message reaching the public is by the two-pronged attack, which is ridicule and infiltration. I've left the link below. It's not even... I'm not going to mention that much regarding I'll let you read it below. And you can see the modus operandi doesn't change, does it? The faces change. That's all. The modus operandi is the same as it was back in 1970 and onwards, right? It's the same sort of attack. Ridicule, infiltration. I mean, I highlighted not too long ago that Katie Hopkins, for whatever reason, had rolled over to Hope Not Hayes or the big boys in MI5, whoever, I don't know, but maybe both of them, uh, and she was portraying herself as this anti-immigrant, anti-Islamic crusader, when in reality she's there to demonise the anti-immigrant, anti-Islamic uh, cause message, just like uh, a fellow traveller, Tommy Robinson, uh, does. That's what he does. He uh, demonises the anti-Islamic, anti-Islamification cause message, and so on and so on. But you see... When British nationalism, real British nationalism, in your face, no messing, not one step back, gets back on its feet, these pesky outfits and the big boys in MI5, the redundant, there is no other way to attack. It's ridicule or infiltration. There is no other way, and we're on to it now. They're on borrowed time. We just have to get our act together. And I'm sure we will. I keep saying this year in and year out. And I'll keep saying it year in, year out. Because we will get our act together. And when we do, there'll be nothing stopping us. Okay, thank you.